Hey everybody, this has been day two here at Aseki. This is deep in the heart of Namanga. If you know Maasai land, this is the place where Hami Imani Africa has been here for two days. Hami Imani Africa organization is here for two days and you know they're gonna be here for three days. We still have one more day to go and what an amazing experience today has been just seeing amazing facilitators from Hami Imani Africa just training the community on a couple of issues from healthcare, from matters, religion, amazing someone that I got to be part of the service, Nemo preaching the word of God and of course we had an amazing facilitator from Hami Imani Africa, his name is Philip Thuo, who really took the time to talk about sustainability and raising the issues that the community is going through. For instance the issue of early marriage is seems to be an issue that is still affecting the community to this day and it's amazing that we are seeing these solutions actually from the church so the church is taking an active part in bringing solutions to this community it's amazing folks that if you're a believer what are you doing to impact the community around you because we are seeing the church here at Eseki in Amanga being able to make a difference in their community in matters early, uh, early marriages and one of the things, folks, to be honest, I've always heard about, you know, female genital mutilation. I've heard about FGM, but never before have I ever seen the gravity and how intense that issue is until I came here to this place called Eseki. And, you know, Nemo should have prepared me that we were not going to watch a James Bond movie. But rather, we were actually going to see a clip of what actually goes on as far as FGM, uh, female genital mutilation, is concerned. And to be honest, I think my stomach is still disturbed because of what I got to see on the screen. Uh, and to be honest, it's a thing when you look at what the girl child is going through as far as FGM is concerned, it makes you as a human being be concerned that how can we do this to somebody. And it makes me wonder, ask myself what I am willing to do to, you know, champion the efforts of ending FGM. Because folks, FGM needs to end like yesterday. If you watched what I watched today, you would want FGM to have ended years ago but sadly it hasn't and so I'm really proud of Hami Mani Africa and what they are doing in their efforts to end FGM and also just educating the community and making sure that there are sustainable solutions to the challenges that the communities are facing you know what can we do about you know people need to go to school how do we do that how are we using our resources because you have to be a steward at the end of the day what are we doing with what we have so this has been day two an amazing experience today has been and I am just more in love with Hami Imani Africa and what they are doing because they are doing something here and trust you me as a friend if you can check out their website and what they are doing please reach out and see what you can do to support the efforts of Hami Imani Africa because they are doing incredible work if you cannot come here to Maasai land if you cannot come here to this community then you can help an organization that is already doing that to be able to do their work because they already have a team uh, in place to help them achieve this work so this has been day two tomorrow we are heading to another place called zion not the zion in the bible but i believe it's a beautiful place we're going to be bringing you what is going on there tomorrow but this has been eseki day two my name is pete star poet and keep it tuned to see what hamimani africa is doing <music>